The Denial of Death by Ernest Becker. We are gods with anuses. We know that we're gonna die someday. This is a unique problem to the conscious animal, humans. We know it, but we don't feel it because we have to repress this truth in order to function. So what to do? It's really hard for us to accept that we're just worms in the dirt. I mean, humans are by nature so paradoxical. Our bodies are so animalistic and limited while our minds are boundless and godlike. We are gods with anuses. So what we need is a vital lie. We need a big one, a grand one, something that we always can rely on because we need something that transcends us. We need a system of ideas and powers that embed us, whether it's a flag, a guru, the proletariat, uh, religion. In this book, you will get to familiarize with the tons of characters. I mean, Carl Jung is one, Freud, Kierkegaard, Eric Fromm, uh, to use the name of few and I felt like I was so taken aback by this book that I after every chapter I needed to take some time just to pause and reflect to take it all in. I want to share a few notes as well from my reading and it talks about how man is beaten down by the world quote beaten because he fails to face up to the existential truth of his situation the truth that he is an inner symbolic self which signifies a certain freedom and that he's bound to a finite body this <laughs> which limits his freedom so how much freedom are you willing to take in he talks about the depressed person who takes too little in and the schizophrenic who takes in too much um, and i have a quote that uh, talks a little bit about this and touches on it. Quote, I believe that those who speculate that full apprehension of man's condition would drive him insane is quite right, quite literally so. I mean, if we would actually stop and consider everything that could happen in any moment, we would be just paralyzed by options and fear. I mean, there's so many possibilities of things going wrong in the world. And we really need that filtering process. We need to limit ourselves. Kierkegaard, he defines anxiety as anxiety is the possibility of freedom. I think that's worth thinking about a little bit. Ideally, man is, and I quote, fully in the world on its terms and fully beyond the world in his trust in the invisible dimension. My takeaway from this book is like the question, uh, if life is such a insurmountable problem, then we have to think about on what level we want to put our illusion on, which on which we base our lives. And this book, it actually checks all the boxes for me. I mean, it's complex and nuanced, but I still understand it really well, except for that <laughs> castration complex. I, I can't wrap my head around that. And I started reading the book as one person and I came out on the other side with new perspectives as a new person and that's more than I can ask for for any book and it also is one of those books that okay I, I got knocked this off my reading list but it added tons of new books I started to read uh, Eric Fromm I read his The Art of Loving which was great I'm reading this one uh, Escape from Freedom right now which is blowing my mind and it, <laughs> I also want to dig into some Kierkegaard as well. And I love that with books, that one book uh, opens the door to many other. And I think that's it. I can't recommend this uh, book enough. I mean, The Denial of Death by Ernest Becker. Go get it. Bjorn out.